Hi, this is Presh Talwalkar. The season finale for The Simpsons contained a bunch of cool math examples, and I wanted to discuss them in this video. The culmination of the episode is the following math problem. In the shape of the M, drawing three straight lines, construct nine non-overlapping triangles. This is actually a pretty difficult puzzle. I paused the episode and actually spent 15 minutes trying to solve it. I was able to get up to three, four, five, six pretty easily, but then I got to seven and eight and I couldn't figure out how to get nine non-overlapping triangles. So I suggest you try this puzzle and if you solve it, congratulations. You can pause the video or you can just keep watching. I'm gonna go through the rest of the math examples in the episode. The episode starts off with a very mathematical joke. The Springfield math team has t-shirts that say pi is not equal to a over b, which of course refers to the fact that pi is irrational. There's also a corny math joke here. When you solve the expression and read it out loud, you get a very corny joke. The math competition features a bunch of different questions. This question tests whether you know the order of operations the correct answer of negative 27 is shown in the episode. Another question test converting set notation into interval notation. This can be done without a problem. You just make sure you have the closed brackets on negative three and four. Here Lisa has to solve an equation of x squared plus y squared equals 17 plus two x, and also x minus one squared plus y minus eight squared equals 34. This could be solved graphically. You could draw out the graph for the equations and you would have the intersection of two circles. So we're looking for two points to solve this system of equations. The quicker way to solve it is to use algebra. We can rearrange the first expression moving 2x over to the left hand side and then expand out the second equation. And now we can see there's a bunch of cancellations. If we subtract the first equation from the second equation, we'll have x squared minus 2x and y squared all cancel out. We end up with 16y is equal to 48, which gives us y is equal to three. We can then substitute that back into our second equation. So we'll have x minus one squared plus substituting in y equals three in the second equation, we'll end up solving very easily that the two solutions are negative two, three, and four, three. Here, Bart sees the problem of x times the root of x is equal to x. You actually don't need to do much to solve this equation. Very commonly in math competitions, the answers of zero or one are very common. They clearly solve this equation. There will be no other solutions. Here we have another question that tests the order of operations, substituting in x equals seven. We first evaluate the bracket of three plus 52. So we have 55 over four, and then we subtract uh, seven plus one. So we end up with the answer of 5.75. Here we have another system of equations which looks difficult to solve. We have a plus b squared equals 25, and a minus b squared equals 45. So what's the value of a squared plus b squared? You might try and solve for a and b, and then you need to square a and square b, but in math competitions, there's always a trick. If you expand out the two equations, we see the only difference is one has a positive factor of 2ab, and the second equation has a negative factor of 2ab. So if we add the two equations together, we end up with 2a squared plus 2b squared equals 70. Now we can solve for a squared plus b squared by dividing the equation in half. So we get the answer of 35. Here we have another system of equations which looks like you'll have to solve for x, solve for y, and then evaluate 3x plus 5y. Once again, there's a trick. If you add up the two equations, you'll get 6x plus 10y equals 12, then divide this in half and you get 3x plus 5y equals six. 
All right, now we will return to the puzzle. We need to find, to get nine non-overlapping triangles drawing only three straight lines. So let's draw this figure M out so we have more space to work with. The first line we want to draw will be skewed coming from the bottom left, and we want to intersect all the other lines. We'll draw another line exactly symmetrical starting from the bottom right. Now we have one final line to draw and we'll draw it horizontally. And now we've created nine non-overlapping triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So it's a pretty cool construction. I hope you figured it out. Congratulations if you figured it out. I did not come up with this answer. In the episode, Bart magically comes up with the answer because he looks at Homer's head. Of course, his hair is in the shape of the M, and he imagines the solution by constructing it, looking at, his, at Homer's head. So it's a very cool episode. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can also follow on Facebook, Google+, and Patreon. You can also catch me at Presh Talwalker on a bunch of social media sites. You can also check out my books on math and game theory. There's a link in the video description. Thanks for watching.